Hi there, Jason Cook from Cookie Composites. Today, in this short video, we're going to be talking about our liquid flat lock and uh, the parts that go together in, in building this liquid flat lock and how we can mount it to a helmet. In the second part of this video, I'll show you actually mounting it to a, to a helmet using one of our flat lock adapters. But first, I'm just going to talk about our liquid flat lock. Basically, our flat lock is a machine in our factory here using built aluminium. Um, it's in anodized, which provides a hard coating, hence the color blue. And the release plates are gray. We've just designed a release plate called the multi plate, and that's what the multi plate looks like there. And basically, this whole pattern in the multi plate allows you to bolt either your still camera, your cookie cage. If you have a look here, the whole pattern for the for the multi plate aligns with our cage. The whole pattern also aligns with our current range of boxes, the CX100 and the CX150. All you basically have to do is remove these M4 pan head screws and using the multi plate, install them to install the plate to the box. The thing about the, uh, the liquid flat lock and why it's so strong and sturdy with basically zero movement in the plate is it has a taper at the front of the flat lock. If you can just see it on that angle there. So it really is only a, a unidirection type of release plate, meaning it only goes in one way. And the pin mechanism basically has a small taper on it. That's how it goes there. So as this pin slides into the flat lock, the further it slides in, the more the taper pushes down on the plate and holds this plate securely. You'll find that the further you push this plate down, the more this pin will want to slide in until it's fully slid into the lock position. So that's fully locked, that's not fully locked, so just when you are installing your flat lock, just make sure that the pin is all the way in, and you know that by the fact that the, that the plate won't move. These little nylon rubber bumper stops that sit in here provide a little bit of up force in the release plate to ensure there's no movement, and basically that's the, uh, that's the flat lock. The kidney spring is shaped as such. It goes in this slot machine in the bottom of the flat lock. So it's very easy to install. Just drop the blue kidney in place. We do have some, some clear kidneys kicking around as well. Um, if you see a clear one or a blue one, they're basically the same material, just different colors. So once you've installed the kidney, I like to install it in that position. Install the locking pin and that now is ready to be screwed down to any flat surface. So with the flat lock adapters, basically we have six in our range. And if you have a look at our flat lock adapters, etched into the bottom of the, of the adapter is, is the helmet type. This one says gas. A big O is for ozone. A for is for our atomic helmet. R is for our rock. L is for our large MXV helmets and S is for our small MXV helmets. So basically the, the shape of the flat lock adapter is, is as such is that it mimics the top of our helmet. Because we design all our helmets in 3D CAD modeling software, it allows us to take a profile of the helmet and then machine a mold as such to build the flat lock adapter. So basically the flat lock adapter is designed to sit as close to the helmet as possible and also provide a flat platform to screw your flat lock to. It's very important when talking down your flat lock that you do it in a way as such that you don't twist the plate. And if you do feel like this release plate doesn't fit, it means that you've talked the flat lock down on the helmet incorrectly and it might have a very slight twist in it. Basically, untalk the screws or undo the screws on top and talk them in order. I'd like to do the parallel ones first, so this one, number one, number two, number three, and then back for number four. And, um, and once you've installed your plate, your flat lock, just test that the release plate goes in nicely. And then the spring for the pin mechanism slides, uh, slides in easily and freely. So that's our flat lock. We get a lot of questions regarding, will these adapters fit to other types of helmets? Look, there's many other types of helmets on the market out there. Um, we have not tested um, any of the other helmets to, to see whether these flat lock adapters fit. I know some guys, the MXV Large, because there's a fair amount of material in the base here, 
of the flat lock adapter. They've used a small Dremel to Dremel these sections out so that it fits the, uh, the oval shape of the top of other helmets. Look, just guys, when you're doing that, please ensure that, that the amount of dremeling you do is, is quite even on both sides so that when you do torque your flat lock down onto the helmet, um, it torques down uh, evenly and securely. And uh, you can always use a, um, a steel edge ruler to just to check to ensure that the, uh, the flat lock is flat once installed. The flat lock comes with a variety of screws to, to screw it to a flat surface. Most of the screws are M4 in nature. Um, it's a metric M4 and they're countersunk. And the countersunk screws basically fit in the countersunk slot of the flat lock here. Um, if you do have a thicker plate of material, you can always get longer M4s. Generally speaking, when mounting a flat lock using a flat lock adapter, we use M4 by 20 millimeter screws, countersunk. And that allows us to go through the flat lock, through the flat lock adapter, and provides us with about six millimeters of excess screw to, uh, to fit through your helmet. We also supply with the flat lock adapters these angled um, washers. We punch and machine these washers here in our factory and the whole idea about these washers is we, we drill and tap them on an angle to suit the curvature of the helmet. That way you don't get any nasty nuts poking in, in your head through your helmet liner. and also ensures that we've got a, quite a large surface area of nut sitting up flush against the inside of the helmet. It just provides a, a more secure way of mounting. The trick is getting this angled washer to marry up with the screw when you're putting it in on the helmet. always like to do this outside the helmet before I start because it can be quite tricky and generally it takes me probably a couple of goes to get the first one done. If you have a look here in the picture, I'll hold it up by the screw, you can see how the kind of angle that that nut has been tapped on. So basically what you can do is do it up in your hand using a marker pen or just a screwdriver. Put a small mark on the washer so you get the angle correct. And then once you get your tongue in the right position, put this screw through your flat lock, through the flat lock adapter, hold the screw inside the helmet and using a, um, a star or Phillips screwdriver, do it up from the outside. Don't try forcing it. Let nature take its course. Uh, have a steady hand. Um, I think by inserting the countersunk screw first into the washer, you can see the angle that it's on, and that'll give you a bit better idea of how it's going to go together once you put the washer inside the helmet. I always like to use a little bit of thread locker. Use the red stuff. Um, the red stuff is more of a, a lock rather than a uh, secure kind of material. Um, and using the thread locker means that Basically, these, these can't, uh, can't rattle loose over time. Um, general maintenance of the flat lock, it's good to ensure that these screws are, are secure and tight. And um, it doesn't take you know, more than a couple of seconds to pull your star screwdriver out, run around those screws just to ensure that they're tight. We have destruction tested the flat lock. We use a 50 tonne press um, to test if and where the flat lock was going to break. I've got the dis I've got the flat lock here that we destruction tested. You can see basically um, what we did was we put the 50 tonne press in the centre of the release plate and started applying pressure. We got to quite a, quite a few tonne before there was a breakage. We, it happened quite suddenly. We, we started to, couldn't really see where it was flexing first. It just suddenly broke through. And it broke through where the pin mechanism is. Basically the pin bent first and then it broke through the release plate like so. So these are quite strong and they will take quite a substantial force. The, the, the key is ensuring that the, the pin with the taper goes all the way into the flat lock release plate when you install your video camera equipment. If you check that every time you go jumping you can't go too far wrong. Right, the next video will be on installing a flat lock to a helmet using one of our flat lock adapters and those angled nuts and washers we're talking about. I'll speak to you soon.